Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this Monday, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. A Review Journal investigation has found that some Henderson police officers with years of sustained citizen complaints are still working. One officer faced nearly a dozen sustained allegations over his 18-year career, but was promoted twice and is now a lieutenant. According to the data obtained by the Review Journal, going back nearly 20 years, about 40 Henderson officers had 10 or more sustained allegations of misconduct against them, and six of them have resigned or were terminated. There's a series of issues there. Sometimes they're protected by union rules and arbitration gives them their positions back. Other times, uh, some supervisor decides that the offense is a written reprimand or a short suspension instead of a termination. The question really is, is how many chances do some of these officers get before something serious happens to them? Our full investigation is available to subscribers at LVRJ.com. In other news this morning, gusty winds caused a power outage Sunday on Mount Charleston. NV Energy says the power won't be turned back on until 10 a.m. Monday due to extreme fire weather conditions. About 450 customers were without electricity as of Sunday evening. In Carson City, there are fewer than 40 days left in the legislative session, and Governor Steve Sisolak's Innovation Zones proposal is getting some pushback. Review Journal's Jen Ah joins us with what we know so far. Jen? Well, Renee, as you know, these Innovation Zones would let tech companies form their own county-like governments here in Nevada. CEO of Blockchains Jeffrey Burns and Governor Steve Sisolak have been pushing this smart city concept as a way to diversify the state's economy without giving up on any tax abatements or financial incentive packages. However, critics like Democratic Senator Dina Neal say, quote, government powers are not a Christmas gift that can be bestowed. The other question is about just how much support there is for the bill in Carson City. Rural counties are lining up to oppose the measure, and already Republicans and Democrats in the legislature are publicly raising an alarm about the proposal. Governor Sisolak says he met with legislative leaders last week, and the public should get an update soon. Renee? Police arrested a man on the Las Vegas Strip after a shooting that left one person dead. The shooting took place early Sunday at the Hawaiian Marketplace near Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon Avenue. 25-year-old Malik Frost was booked on charges of murder and attempted murder. What goes well with a cold beer? Well, how about a worthy cause? Craft House Brewery in Henderson unveiled its special station house brew on Saturday with Henderson Mayor Deborah March doing the very first pour. Proceeds from sales of the beer will benefit the Angel Fire Foundation, a nonprofit that helps those with serious illnesses, along with burn victims and wounded warriors. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Happy Monday, everyone. Scattered showers before 11 a.m. are forecasted in the valley. Then scattered showers after 1 p.m. Mostly cloudy skies with a high of near 71 degrees. Wind gusts could get up to 26 miles per hour. Monday night, scattered showers with lows around 52 degrees. For the rest of your week, a 20% chance of rain heading into Tuesday. But then we start to warm back up, possibly hitting 100 degrees by the weekend. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Circa has been given the green light to open its second satellite sports book. The Nevada Gaming Commission approved Circa's plan to operate the sports book at the Pass Casino on Water Street in downtown Henderson, which opened its doors on April 1st. Circa owner Derek Stevens will hold a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new sports book there on Thursday. Last month, Circa opened its first satellite sports book at the Tuscany Suites. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, take a look at this. Beer Park at Paris, Las Vegas was the place for some serious munching this weekend. The restaurant hosted the World Popcorn Eating Championship. Las Vegas resident Matt Stoney won by eating more than 28 boxes of popcorn in just eight minutes. The contest was put on by Major League Eating, yes, that's a thing, and it was part of the DraftKings Red Carpet Film Feast, which also featured a hard-boiled egg-eating contest and a soda-chugging contest. Sports, brought to you by Scenic Brewing Company. I'm out at Allegiant Stadium, where this week the Raiders opened up the doors to their field for nine randomly selected Clark County School football programs to be able to participate in inter-squad scrimmages. 
Foothill High School football coach commented on what this meant for the student athletes. Whether they choose to play at the next level as far as college, this is an experience that I think they'll, that they'll never forget. So uh, the kids, they really appreciate everything that the Raiders has done for us, and uh, we we're very excited to be here. Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara also said that the opportunity gave the student athletes a sense of normalcy. Well, you see their faces as they're walking in. I mean, appreciate the Raider Nation uh, to come before and supporting our kids because uh, it's been a tough year for all of us. And I think what the Raiders have done for our community is uh, unimaginable. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Who will the Raiders pick with their first selection in the NFL draft? You can bet on that prop at Circus Sportsbook, which makes USC tackle Elijah Vera Tucker the 6-1 to one favorite. He's followed by Alabama defensive tackle Christian Barmore at plus 725 and Virginia Tech tackle Christian Derisaw and Notre Dame linebacker Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa at plus 780 apiece. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. If you still need to get the COVID-19 vaccine, a new option will let you get one without leaving your car. Texas Station in North Las Vegas will host a drive through vaccination site beginning May 11th. The site will be operated by the Southern Nevada Health District and the Nevada National Guard. It will offer shots of the Pfizer vaccine. The site will operate seven days a week from 7 a.m. until noon. Appointments will be required to get the vaccine. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the Pinball Hall of Fame has a new home on the Las Vegas Strip. The new $10 million complex is located across from the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign, and it still offers games starting at 25 cents. This is one of the few things you can still do in Las Vegas where you walk in free and you park free. We're open every day from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m., We've got about 500 machines that you can play. This isn't a looky-loo museum. This is an actual play museum. Well, that's all for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Remember, the Las Vegas Review Journal brings you 7 at 7 weekdays at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on LVRJ.com. You can also download our free RJ mobile app to get news alerts sent straight to your phone, and you can find us on Roku, Alexa, and more. We will hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. Have a good day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.